Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to run uh, Apache and Tomcat on the same server with the same port and uh, with two different host names. Okay, so first thing uh, I'm using an example here. So I started Tomcat and Apache. Let's access the, both the servers. So Apache is a separate server and Tomcat is a separate server. So this I'm accessing with Apache Tomcat. You can see the title here. And I'm trying for localhost 80, which has so, so two servers which have the port details here 80. And here we have multiple ports with a different protocol. So uh, it uh, Tomcat HTTP default protocol is 80, 80, and that uh, CAMP is 80. So I access two ports. Now I I will I want to access uh, these two domains. I mean the, I will consider this as one domain and this as one domain. Like if I if I have two different two different domains, if I want to access them, how can I access with the same port? So first we'll see we'll for that we need to change for that we need to change the host name details. So if you already have the DNS manager, then that can be uh modified that can be handled uh at your dns so if you want to try it in your local without any uh, dns manager then uh, we need to do these changes so we need to open our notepad with uh, uh run as administrator once it, it has opened run as administrator uh, then alt f open uh windows c drive windows 32 from that uh, drivers folder. We have a drivers folder from and under driver open the etc and select all files here. You will get a host now open. Open, yeah. Here I'm making lo local host one, so I'll make it as a task incomplete. Task incomplete complete dot com and 120 127 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 task incomplete on dot com okay i'm using two websites now i'm making it one okay i saved it i saved it so first we confirm whether we are able to access the task incomplete without saving it so disability now i'm copying it it's go to it goes to actual website now okay it goes to actual website now we will enable it. We will enable the two contexts and we will see how where it goes. Refresh it. It came to localhost, localhost website now. Okay, so now if I access the same thing with Tomcat, I should get the with port 8080. Now I want my Tomcat also on 80. Uh, Tomcat also 80. So for that, I am making a changes in reverse. Uh, I am enabling the reverse proxy module, and uh, I am set uh, content in the setup. Okay, first we need to go to Apache. Web server, go to config, uh, HTTP config team. Okay, uh, in this to support uh, reverse proxy, we need to enable two modules. One is proxy.so, proxy.so, and uh, HTTP proxy underscore HTTP. So this is the first model uh, which I'm highlighting here. This is the one model which you need to enable. So by default, if you see the ash in front of your uh, uh, module, then that's a commented. Okay, the another module is this one, proxy.so. It was saved now. Now uh, do the restart and see whether your core modules are loaded successfully or not. So if there is any dependencies for the modules, then it will not start your server. Now uh, I'm trying the local host now. So I'm trying the dashboard. So it was working fine now. So our model has loaded successfully. Now uh, go to the virtual host, virtual host config. So virtual host config is in, will be in uh, Apache 
Apache, config, xstars. So here we have the uh, virtual host config. So open this file first. Open this file. So even if you make the changes in this file, if you are not enabled, if you are not enabled the HTTP config here, virtual host file here, if you not included this config in your HTTP config, then it won't uh, affect your changes. So this is a file include config extra httpd virtualhost.config. So I have an already enabled it. So I'm directly making changes in my virtualhost file. Now I'm using virtualhost. Now config in my virtualhost. My document root is HTTP docs and the server name is task incomplete. So I'm making my website name as task incomplete now. Mm, with that, yeah. So run it, it's a task incomplete. Okay. Dot com. So I'm running www. So as I've configured task incomplete, so I'm using the task in the same uh, name to avoid conflictions. Okay. Next, I'm removing that uh, uncommented things. This is the part where you use the proxy. So this is a proxy setup where I'm redirecting my server, my request, all my requests to other uh, server. So here I'm using task incomplete task one, task one dot com. When it is a, when a request is issued from a task one dot com domain, uh, Apache will redirect our each and every request to local or shady AT. 8080 and it uh, sends a response using pass reverse with uh, local 8080 and it sends a response to our uh, client using the same server. But Apache will behave as any uh, uh, forwarder to the request and responder to a response. Mediator to send a response to a client from the Tomcat or any other service, any third party uh, service or application which is hosted on a different server. Even you can manage the add your host name here. Instead of removing the local host, you can add your IP, domain name, or anything. Okay, so this is uh, one of the example I'm using now. So I'm using the Tomcat uh, to be it a realistic. Uh, okay, now uncomment all do all uncomment changes. Uh, I've made all changes now. Just restart the server, Apache server, to make sure all changes are done perfectly. So if your changes are perfectly, perfectly fine, then you will get a port number here and it will be green color. If you do it in Linux or any other uh, servers, any other machines, OSS, so you can use check the command, you can use a uh, service status by using commands uh, in Linux and we can go for the respect to VAMP or GRAM server and we can see the status, whether it is up or not. Okay, now, uh, now, uh, when I enter task incomplete1.com, it has to go to Tomcat application by default without any, uh, without any, uh, uh, without any redirection, without any uh, 302 or 303, so any, any, any redirection code, any redirection, without any redirection, it has to go to Tomcat. When I hit the task incomplete, it has to reach my HTTP docs, HTTP docs. Uh, by default. Okay, so this is a default uh, task incomplete website. Now it was in a uh, task incomplete. Uh, it was, we'll see. Now uh, it was still going to the task incomplete only. Now the new change is when I make one dot com here, it has to go to Tomcat with the same port without with port 80, 80 only, not 80, 80. Yeah, we got it. So it was Tom, Tomcat. Actual port for Tomcat is 80. And uh, we are accessing the Tomcat with uh, any with with port 80, with port 80. Okay, so still if you, if you want to uh, if you want to open your local host, local host uh, 80, it will redirect to camp server. But when you try for local host 80, it will redirect to Tomcat. So your actual service is running on 8080, but we are we are uh, matching a Tomcat and Apache on a single port using the reverse proxy. Okay, so this is how uh, we do the configuration for the reverse proxy. Uh, thanks for listening, friends.